Good morning. Welcome to our final morning chat with Miss Ehrenberg. You guys, we made it. We made it to the end of the year. I know technically yesterday was our last day, but I thought I would just finish out the week. Plus, we have to finish our book. So I do have one final journal assignment for you. Um, journal assignment, draw a summer picture. Draw the beach, draw whatever you want. What Camping, if you go camping in the summer. Um, so that's your final journal assignment. Draw a picture of summer. Okay, I have no birthday shout outs for today. We've done them all. Um, I'm gonna do our our quick stuff that I have to finish up for the year and then I'll finish our book and we'll do our final Bible story and then we'll be done. So hopefully it won't be too long of a video. Okay, our last day. And it looks cloudy right now, so I'm gonna draw some clouds. All right, we are done with the calendar. Final time, I lost my black crayon. Okay, let's color our last square. Ooh, I can put my black crayon away now. All right, check it out. Black and gray are the same. And because it's our last day, I get to draw the line at the top, like we always do. And let's count the days. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16, so we had, our tallest was brown, then, yellow, then black and gray, orange and purple, pink, green, blue, red, poor red. Okay, two more numbers to show you. We had 19, so 19, so we had, let's see, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, the one and the nine, and then to finish it up, bum, ba, bum, 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 20, 20. So can you guys help me count all the way up to 20? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We did it, we made it all the way up to 20. Okay, just making sure I don't miss anything. Also cleaning up my office area. I think that's it. We have no more shapes, no more colors. Oh, we can review these. Our words we started learning. In, I, N, in. There is milk in the refrigerator. It. I T and is I S. It is cloudy today. The word a I see a bird on my tree. And then our last one C A N can. Can you see the bird? All right. Let's finish our book. So they made it into, um, back into the safety of the space station and they figured out that the mouse was the final M thing and then Morgan Le Fay appeared. So let's see what happens. Thank you, Morgan said softly. You have freed me from the magician's spell. Jack just stared at her. You were Peanut, Annie said. Morgan nodded and smiled. Really? You were with us all the time? On all our missions, Jack said? Morgan nodded again. Why did we have to go on this mission to find a mouse, said Jack, if you were always with us? To break the spell, we had to be on the moon, said Morgan. You could have broken it the minute we arrived. Oh, that's what Peanut, I mean you, were trying to say. We didn't have to leave the moon base at all. Morgan nodded, smiling. But the moon man came along to help us, said Annie. He drew a constellation of a mouse. Is he a friend of yours? Morgan shrugged. Let's just say we had a little talk. 
He stopped by the moon base while you were out. The same way you had a talk with the ninja master, right? Said Jack. And the monkey and the sorcerer? Morgan nodded. I always squeak to the ones who helped you. But how do they understand you? A mouse, said Jack. Morgan smiled again. Certain wise creatures understand the language of little creatures. I bet it was you who turned the pages of the book, said Annie, to show us where to go next. Morgan nodded. But who turned you into a mouse, said Mor Annie. Morgan frowned. A certain person who likes to play tricks on me. His name is Merlin. Merlin, said Jack, the greatest magician who ever lived. So here they are talking to Morgan Le Fay. Morgan sniffed. He's not that great, she said. He doesn't even know I have two brave friends who help me. Us, said Annie shyly. Morgan nodded, and I thank you both with all my heart. You're welcome, said Jack and Annie. Morgan handed Annie the Pennsylvania book. Are you ready to go home now, she asked. Yes, said Jack and Annie. Annie pointed to a picture of Frog Creek Woods. I wish we could go there, she said. The tree started to spin. It spun faster and faster and faster. Then everything was still absolutely still, but only for a moment. All right, chapter 10, Earth Life. The Midnight Woods woke up. A, brussel, a breeze rustled the leaves. An owl hooted. The sounds were soft, but very alive. Jack opened his eyes. He pushed his glasses into place. He smiled. Morgan was still with them. He could see her in the moonlight. Her white hair was shining. Morgan, can you and the treehouse stay here? Said Annie in Frog Creek. No, I must leave again, I'm afraid, said Morgan. I've been gone from Camelot for a long time. She handed Jack his pack. She brushed his cheek. Her hand felt soft and cool. A bit of moon dust still on you, she said. Thank you, Jack, for your great love of knowledge. You're welcome, said Jack. Morgan tugged on one of Annie's braids. And thank you, Annie, for your belief in the impossible. You're welcome, said Annie. Go home now, said Morgan. Jack smiled. Home was Earth, that bright, colorful world where everything was alive and always changing. Bye, Morgan, said Annie, and she started out of the treehouse. Jack looked back at Morgan. Will, will you come back soon, he asked. Anything can happen, said Morgan. The universe is filled with wonders, isn't it, Jack? He smiled and nodded. Go now, Morgan said softly. Jack followed Annie down the rope ladder. He stepped onto the ground. The wind started to blow, the tree started to shake, a loud roar filled Jack's ears. He squeezed his eyes shut, he covered his ears. Then everything was silent and still. He opened his eyes, the ladder was gone. He looked through the leaves of the branches of the giant oak tree. Where the tree house had been, there was only moonlight now. Bye Morgan, he whispered sadly. Bye Peanut, said Annie. Jack and Annie start, stared at the top of the tree for a long moment. Ready, said Annie. Jack nodded. They started for home. The midnight air felt cool and moist. It was filled with the soft sounds of earth life. Jack and Annie left the Frog Creek woods. They started down their street. Annie glanced up at the sky. The moon really looks far away, doesn't it? It did, thought Jack. It was. I wonder how the moon man can be up there all alone, said Annie. What do you mean, said Jack? I mean, who helps him put on his spacesuit, said Annie? Who helps him get up when he falls down? And who is he, said Jack. Who do you think he was, said Annie. He must be a scientist or an astronaut. He must be a scientist or astronaut from Earth, said Jack. No, I think he was an alien, said Annie, from another galaxy. Jack scoffed. What makes you say that? I just feel it, said Annie. Wrong, said Jack. There's no proof that aliens exist. Maybe not now, said Annie, but, I don't, but don't forget, we were in the future. Oh, brother, said Jack. They crossed their yard, climbed their back steps. Annie tiptoed inside the house, and Jack followed her. Before he shut the door, he glanced up at the moon. Was Annie right? He wondered. Could the moon man be have been from another galaxy? Morgan's words filled, came back to him. The universe is filled with wonders, isn't it, Jack? Good night, moon man, Jack whispered. Then he closed the door. The end. You guys, we read a whole chapter book. All right, let's end. All right, before we do our final Bible story, I'm going to try not to get emotional, but we'll see. <laughs> I just wanted to say one final thing. You guys, I enjoyed this year so much. Even though it ended this way, I enjoyed getting to talk to you through these videos. I enjoyed our Zoom meetings, our hangouts, so I could see you face to face. 
Um, this is definitely not the way I thought this year would end, but it's okay. It's okay. We will always have a great story. Remember when our preschool year was cut sh short and we had to do class online? That was crazy. Um, but I just wanted to say one final time, I miss you all. I love you all. You guys hold a, a special place in my heart forever. And I can't wait to see you again. I hope I get to see you when you come pick up your stuff from the classroom. If not then, hopefully I see you around town somewhere. I've already run into some of you these past couple of weeks. And I hope you have a wonderful summer. And yeah, I miss you all. And I will see you again soon, okay? All right, let's end with a Bible story. Um, it is, oh, I didn't put it in the right spot. Jesus, I told you we we're going to go back to Jesus for this last one, and the children. It felt like a good one to end on. All right, so the children love to spend time with Jesus. But the disciples didn't understand, and they said, stop. Don't bother Jesus. He is too busy. Jesus told the disciples, let the children come to me. Do not keep them away. You must become like these little children if you want to enter God's kingdom. Oops, skipped a page. Then Jesus blessed the children. All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful summer. May God bless you today, this summer, and always. And always just remember that God is with you. Jesus is with you. Even during the scariest times, he's always right there. And he's always there for us to talk to, too. So just always remember that. And with that, let's end our year with prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Be with us as we work and play. Bless family, friends, and teachers too. Bless all of us and all we do. Amen. All right, you guys, I'll see you soon. Ooh. Well, that's just the perfect way to end it. <laughs>